2013 Formula One season is fast approaching. And if you missed last year's, where on earth were you? It turned out to be one of the most exciting, controversial and record-breaking seasons to date. Well, it was a great experience to win yep. last year in China. Uh, it was first win for me, first win for the team. Yep. First win for Mercedes also since 57 years in F1. Mm -hmm. And so it was very, very special. It just came together well and, and then celebrating afterwards, you know, it, uh, with family, friends yeah. and for, for the whole Mercedes group and everything was very cool. When you heard that Lewis was definitely on board, did you give him a call? Did you text him? We were uh, teammates when we were 14, 15 years yeah, old in the Mercedes-Benz McLaren go-kart team. Yeah. Um, and we said at the time, well, I imagine if one day we're going to be in the best F1, nice. one of the best F1 teams, yeah. uh, being teammates, how cool would that be? And now it's actually happening. Did he have to do any initiation tests with you when he first joined the team? I think he what, should have. What's initiation tests? Where, you know, to, to be part of the team, you have to make them do something. Uh, um, no, he doesn't. Crazy. No, no, you have to do donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis, thanks for chatting to us. I just want to start off with, are you happy? I'm really happy. Really happy to be in the sunshine for once. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, I've been in the mountains for the last couple of months, so um, it's good to be somewhere a little bit warmer. Right, I've got some questions off Twitter for cool. you. Okay, uh, so Sasha Art wants to know, they're all about your dog. Mm -hmm. I think your dog's getting more popular than you. Has he got yeah, a Twitter yeah. account? I haven't. I was thinking about starting <laughs> yeah, one I up think him. you should. Uh, she wants to know if Roscoe has got his own place. Has he got a Mercedes motorhome yet? Not yet. <laughs> she also says, can you beatbox? Uh, I can, but I ain't going to do it for you. <laughs> do you know what? That's a challenge. By the end of the season, we'll see if we can get Lewis Who beatboxing. We'll see. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. Pleasure. So this is where all the hard work happens. It's actually the garage. We can't film whilst the car's in here. That's top secret. And it's currently testing out on the track, actually. But we did manage to catch up with Ross Braun earlier to find out what areas they're focusing on. And what are you hoping to achieve out of your team uh, for the up-and-coming season? Uh, to move forward strongly, I think we've uh, we've stalled a little bit the last couple of years, and that's why we've uh, we've we went for this reorganisation, restructuring. And we won our first race last year, but we weren't consistently competitive enough, and so this restructuring has been to make sure we are uh, consistently competitive, and that's the important thing: consistently competitive, race well, great drivers, and who knows. Toto, thanks for chatting to us. First and foremost, welcome on board. Great to have you. And what do you personally hope to achieve over the next couple of years? I hope to be a little part of a team which, uh, which is going to be world champion uh, in the next years. And this is why I'm here. This is why I've been hired. And uh, this is what I will be pushing for. We're going to have new engine regulations next year. Mercedes-Benz and Brixworth have produced a, um, a fantastic, fantastic new engine. So uh, the odds look good. Well, there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed your little pre-season preview. What happens next? Only time will tell. But what is for certain? Watch this space.